Alicia Keys, sis, we need to talk because Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. So I'm excited for today's video like any other video because today I'm going to be reviewing a skincare product from hmm, someone we're not we know of a celebrity we know of but who knew she had a skincare line like i had no idea sis like can we get some promotion you know something because i had no idea she had a skincare line but anyways i've been trying her skincare line for five days now and so i just want to or a little bit over five days, but specifically five days. So I just want to give you guys some insight to see like if it really made a difference with my skin. So if you're new to my channel, hi, I'm so glad you stopped by to check out one of my videos. If you are a returning subscriber, how are you? It's nice to see you. I've missed you. And so today's video, we're going to be talking to, uh, or calling Alicia Keys to uh, the witness stand, okay? Alicia, girl, who knew you had a skincare line? Well, all of a sudden you just come out of nowhere with a skincare line? Like we knew Pharrell had one coming, you know, which is out called the human race. But all of a sudden you just pop out of nowhere with a skincare line, no promotion, no nothing. Yeah, uh, I'm going to need some answers. Thank you, ma'am. So, I'm going to do give you guys a real quick rundown and review of the products that are available with her skincare line and the only product I've tried thus far. So, let's get into this video. So, I'm going to show you guys the product that I'm going to be re reviewing that I've tried for the past little over five days. And I've been using it night and day. And it is by Alicia Keys, and it's called Keys Soul Care. Okay, this is the box it comes in. It retails for $30. And I purchased it at Ulta, and Ulta is the only place you can purchase her products. So, opening it up. I have my upside down. I don't know why. This is what the bottle looks like. I like the dark purple look. I actually like the bottle look of it. Uh, yeah, it's a skin transformation cream. So that's what it looks like on the inside. I feel like the bottle's much bigger than the amount of product that's in here, but yeah, we'll talk about that. But that's that. So let's talk about it. Uh, you can only purchase it at Ulta, like I said, it's $30, it's kind of high. Um, with her skincare line, when I purchased this, she only had three things. And one of the things uh, was the Key Soul Care Sage and Oat Milk Candle, which should be posted right here. So she also has that and that retails for $38. Um, at, when I had first purchased this, uh, there were like there was like a few reviews on the candle and they weren't good. They weren't good reviews on the candle. So <laughs> the candle is a hit or miss, I guess. And it's kind of expensive. I just want to know how big it is. I haven't seen it in an actual person, so I don't know how big it is. But $38 is a lot for a candle. Okay, that's a lot for a candle. Um the point of the candle is it's supposed to relax you um, and it's supposed to exude a smoky, calming warm made of mainstay and herbal teas for a thousand years. For a thousand years? Really? <laughs> a thousand years? Okay. But, um, yeah. The candle. I guess it's $30, $40 for a candle. I don't know. That's why I was like, eh, she's going to have to miss me with that one. Okay, so moving on to the next 
item that she had originally when I first purchased the skin transformation cream was she has the Ocidian facial roller. Now I'm sure Ocidian, I don't even know if I'm saying that right, but it's probably a, a form of some type of uh okay volcanic glass forged from quickly cooled lava obsidian obsidian has been used for a thousand years in feng shui and other curative rituals to repel negativity and clear the psychic smog that surrounds us what okay yeah, so she has a facial roller and it doesn't even include the opposite side where there's a smaller roller on the side of it and it's $25. So that's expensive to me. So there's a few reviews under that and it's like three and a half stars. So I don't know. <laughs> okay, and then so here are the new products that um, apparently are there now all of a sudden. Um, is the Golden Cleanser. Now this is only $20. It comes with a pump. Of course, it's a facial cleanser. Um, it is supposed to gently remove the dirt, makeup, and impurities of antioxidant rich Manuku honey from New Zealand. Soothing termic, termic, and calming chamomile. Okay. I can dig that. I wonder how big the bottle is though. It says it's a 5.75 ounce. So I I can't say exactly how big that is. But yeah, I don't know. I'm curious to see. It's probably not that big. But it's $20 for this golden cleanser. Okay. So the next thing she has is the B Luminous Exfoliator. And uh, this is an ancient green tea that's rich in antioxidants. It's uh, a hojaya, I don't even think I'm saying that right, powder, provides non stripping exfoliation, which, along with mung beans and oats, helps promote a softer, smoother texture. So it's an exfoliator cleanser pretty much she's saying a lot of stuff you know that you know people probably would not <laughs> the regular person would probably be like what <laughs> would not understand and I'm sitting here like struggling to read it myself but it sounds good <laughs> But this is $22. It has like one review and it's a 2.3 ounce bottle. And that one review is like one star. So that's not good. But it takes time. I think this stuff that the additional uh, skincare items that just came out. It takes time for people to buy them, review them, and see them. So it's going to take time for that. Okay, so yeah. The exfoliator. His exfoliator is $22. I don't know, a 2.3 ounce bottle sounds really small to me for $22. Anyways, moving on. She also has a Harmony mask, um, which I'm guessing this is... Hold on one second. It's Manuku Honey is a potent and purified antioxidant that helps draw the moisture in for the skin for long lasting. Hydration. Now all of her products with states on Ulta is that they are developed in partnership with a dermatologist. So I feel like that's a good point to bring up. Like, okay, this has been dermatologist <laughs> verified. So, you know, like this will really work for people with normal skin, you know, who don't really have any issues with their skin because you know, people who have issues with their skin need to use specific products that will benefit their skin. So, yeah. Uh, she's using a lot of different type of products. But we know I've used the Manuka, Manuka, I don't even think I'm saying it right, Honey 
product with my Shea Moisture Shampoo and Conditioner and I really, really love that shampoo and conditioner. So I know that's a really good ingredient within a product, so I can really appreciate that. So, that's good to know that I know what that is. All of her products are cruelty free, um, so that's another good point. Um, so I'm gonna move on to the Comforting Balm. She also offers and it's a lightweight, silky, and deep, deeply hydrating Camilla seed oil. And it has been used for centuries to moisturize and nourish, nourish skin while helping cultivate a bright and glowing complexion. I don't get this little centuries thing. I don't know. Maybe these are products or ingredients that are used, <laughs> that have been used for a long time with skincare products. I don't know. But it's... It, it's kind of interesting that she says that. It's very interesting that a lot of her products say that. Um, okay, so you would uh, use this for your lips and elbows and your cuticles and heels. So, yeah. Those those tough areas, those tough skin areas, your elbow, your, uh, did it say your feet or your heels? Your lips isn't a tough skin area, but it, yeah, it's one of those areas that needs a lot of moisture. So yeah, I can see that. Okay, the next product moving on is the Reviving Aurora Mist. This is made with a resurrection plant capable of remaining Doormat for thousands of years and blooming again at the first drop of water. Rose of Jericho. Jericho <laughs> uh, helps renew the look of dull and dehydrated skin with vital hydration. And this is to be gently pressed into the skin of your face and neck and used throughout the day and into the night for an instant refresh. So just like any facial mist, you're just using it on your face and neck. You know, I definitely love the face mist. I don't use this brand. I haven't used this one uh, because I just realized it was there. But uh, yeah, I might give that a try. And then we have the Transformation Cream Fragrance Free, which I thought this was fragrance free, but apparently it's not. Let me smell. No, it does kind of have a scent to it. So, but it's not strong, so she offers this fragrance free. Um, same cream. Uh, just really quick, I wanted to say how you, you how she says you're supposed to use this is using a circular motion to activate the powder of transformation. Gently massage it to your face and neck morning and night after cleansing. For a more even more transformative ritual that revitalize revitalize your heart and soul and skin with a deeper massage, enhance, absorb absorption and accelerated benefits use morning and night with the keys soul obsidian facial roller and then she has steps on how to use both of those in conjunction and she has steps on how to use the facial roller in conjunction with this and she also suggests other products of hers to include in your ritual so yeah interesting and i my experience thus far with this skin transformation cream is i have to give it a c and i'm gonna tell you why i give it a c well first of all i'm gonna tell the pros i don't have that many pros and cons but pros i do feel like this is very moisturizing it feels good on the skin it's cool um uh, it's not a strong scent smell, so I do like that about this product. I do. Now, do I feel like it's having, uh, just me using it for five days now, do I feel like it's having, uh, maybe it takes more time, of course. Um, does my skin feel more hydrated? I feel like not more than usual. I feel like my skin might be a little bit more hydrated than usual but other than that I, feel, I think my skin feels exactly the same uh i don't know if it's maybe because it's winter time here we're getting a lot of snow it's really really cold we're in like 
<laughs> below 20s so that might be also a reason too as well why I feel like it's not really giving me what it should um but for that I give yeah that falls along with the lines of my pros for my cons I feel like it's expensive it's $30 I feel like you don't get a lot this is a small container look at this I don't feel like that's a lot for $30 so if I can't find something that's gonna last me at least a month and a half to two months and I don't think this will you know you're putting it on your face and neck I'm not saying you need a lot but it definitely is not uh, a lot a lot of products for $30 with the other products I do like the fact that she she offered a candle because that's something different I haven't really seen with a lot of skincare lines um, but I'm not gonna pay $38 for a candle I'm just not like I barely want to do the $10 every year when it comes around for Bath and Body Works and I love their candles um, yeah I just don't see the point of paying $40 for a candle. Now I might buy some of her other products like her exfoliator um, cleanser and the other cleanser and the uh, the mist because I feel like those aren't that bad of a price point. It just depends on how big the bottle is. I wonder if it's actually in the store at Ulta so I can actually look at it. So that's one thing I might go look and see. I do like the packaging. I like the color, the dark color and the black top and I definitely think it's a uh it's okay like for me I feel like it's okay soul care is okay I give it a C now it definitely doesn't mean don't try it because it could work better for you I'm gonna go ahead and real quick and show you guys what my skin looked like the first day before when I started before I started using the product and um right now to see if there's like any major differences so we're gonna get into that next really quick so you can see what i looked like before versus right now and see if there's any differences but yeah i definitely give this a c i feel like she should promote this more i i don't feel like enough people know about her product that she even has a product um I feel like she just kind of came out with it because she used a perfect example to come out with a skincare product because her skin is flawless like it's to die like she stopped wearing makeup like heavy makeup like she her skin is beautiful like if anybody should come out with a skincare line it's Alicia Keys so definitely think there should be more heavy promotion for this uh so more people will try it so more people can give an opinion so people be like uh, I don't know you know because it is a high price point to me and you know she needs them reviews so people will be like okay let me at least try it you know because other people have so yeah that's my thoughts and uh my opinion on soul care keys her skincare product for the skin transformation cream um in this next portion, I'm just going to show you really quick what my skin was before versus what it is now. And see if there's any difference with this trans skin transformation cream and if it helped my skin at all.
As you can see with my skin, I have some dark spots on my face, especially on the right side of my face. Yeah, it's, <laughs> and those spots are still there, of course. Um, the, um, I have the circles under my eyes, which are still there. It's just trying to get them lighter, if anything. Um, these dark spots right here around my lips, I hate that. Uh, there's a lot of things. Um, does my skin look more moisturized? Does it look, does it look, I don't feel like it looked dry anyway before, but, you know, does it look more moisturized now? I don't know. I think so. A little bit. You know. Uh, but you have to use more products than just one thing. Like, I use more than just one thing. You know what I'm saying? Because you, you just can't go off of one product. So, you know, it has to be like a skincare routine combination. So, yeah, this is what my skin, I still have the dark circles. I don't think it really lightened up at all. I just feel like my skin is a little bit more moisturized. That's about it. <laughs> um, yeah, that's what my skin looked like before. So, that's it for this review and introduction, I guess, to everybody. Uh, for the Keys Soul Care Skin Transformation Cream. Yes, so, this is it, guys. Um definitely try it out <laughs> just because i gave it like a a medium score doesn't mean it's not a good product doesn't mean it won't work better for your skin i just say for me i felt like it was okay so that's it um thank you guys for watching this video like this video if you like what i talked about if you want to give this product a try if you, there's any other products you think i should try definitely comment below Definitely subscribe if you are not subscribed. Hit that bell for notifications for when I post new videos. And I will see you guys in the next one.